morning everyone. This is Miss Amenta back again and this is task number one, our nature task that we're doing. Where we went out last week and we went into our gardens and into our yards and we tried to find all the things that were of nature. So not things made by people like this bucket here that's plastic and made by people and all those glorious things inside are made by people but things that the earth provides us with and that is made by our planet so we had a look outside and as you remember I found some things like these here these pods gorgeous and I found a beautiful green feather on the ground and I also had in my bowl because I have a special bowl that has all these things from nature in it I have this glorious flower here that once was a protea but now it's dried and I also had some beautiful big leaves look at that that leaf there is a ginkgo leaf it's beautiful and if you have a look it has many different colors colors related to yellow and green and there's a tiny little bit of red on the corner now art teaches you how to look at things differently how to look at things as a big picture and also how to look at things in detail. So we learn to appreciate something like this leaf because we have to look at it closely when we are to turn it into an artwork. So for me to look at things closely, I need these glasses. Now I know some of you have glasses and if you do, make sure that when you're in art class that you're wearing them so you can see better ah that's better now last class you were to trace those objects from nature like so trace the outline into a formation or pattern on the page filling it all in at least three or four objects you were to use and then you were to get your textures and fill in the patterns that you saw on your objects. I'll give you an example on this leaf here. There are a lot of different patterns. Okay. And I tried, if you have a look here, to add all those lines into my leaf shape to form the patterns. Now, that's where you should have got up to last class. A picture similar to this. And I want you all to have a look at when you finish today, downloading this somehow get mum and dad to take a photo and send it through you educator so i can have a look and we can do an art gallery wall and if mums and dads dads have also and big brothers and sisters have also done this task and they can put their artwork up too it's a good task what we're going to do today is we're going to look at how to apply the paint and it's important that you have a a bucket of water now I've already played with some of the paint here so that's why it's the water's this color so clean water in a container and a few different size brushes some thin ones some round ones some flat ones or thick ones if you've only got one brush that's fine only use one but it's it's better that you have a, a variety for this task the paints I'm going to use are these ones here Okay, so these paints here, um, they're water paints, so you need to apply water to them for them to be used. And in the centre here is where you can mix a colour, make a colour. And we'll have to do a little bit of that today because um, some of these beautiful leaves here um, from my artwork, they don't have all the colours in these dishes. Okay, 
So these are good and you can get these from the $2 shop um, or any sort of gifty shop, um, discount shop. Really good. The other paints you can use, any sorts of paints, that's fine so long as we've got variety of colour. Lots of colour, kids. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to fill this in with paint. But before we do that, let's have a little bit of fun with colour. Let's get, let's get our fun on when it comes to colour. So <clears throat> here we have a piece of paper here and I'm going to have my paint here. So you can see the different brushes. And I'm going to have some colours here for you. Okay. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to take one of our paint brushes, middle size brush, this one here, and we are going to use red. So mix your paint in the red. And remember from school, we say to make a lovely muddy puddle because we want bright colours. So we mix for a little bit like that. A lot of paint on our brush. Now when we apply the paint, we've got to make sure that we have pinch and rest when we apply our paint brushes. Yeah, pinch and rest. And we draw with our paint brush like we would a pencil all right now I'm having a play so I'm just using the paintbrush very gently and having a look at what I can make with the paintbrush till all the paint runs out of it man and I'm also looking at that beautiful red color thinking how glorious it is now the next color I'm going to add is I'm going to look at my palette and I'm going to see what color looks similar to that and I see that orange does orange and red as we know from our color wheel are very very similar so I mix 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 now I'm just going to add a little bit of the orange up here just for a bit of fun mix 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 it's not as bright as I would like so I'm mixing in there a little bit more to get my orange on beautiful orange yeah look at that happy with that now oops I'm also going to add there we go so we can see I'm also going to add some yellow Okay, because these are the colours that I saw in my autumn leaf. So if you are foundation and grain one, just do the same colours that I'm doing here, red, orange and yellow. If you are a grade two, you can experiment with the primary and the secondary colors. Okay. Now, after that, guess what I'm going to add? I really, really want to add a little bit of pink down here. So in I go to my pink paint. And I'm going to add a little bit of pink in there. Just a little bit. Doesn't make too much of a difference. And I'm going to add some pink coming up here just for a little bit of fun. Down the bottom, I'm going to add also now a tiny, tiny bit of purple. So that's just me, Miss Amenta, having a play with her paint. Okay. 
having a little play there with it. Now you can do that if you are prep. I want you to do a similar thing. Change brushes. This is all about experimenting with what colour looks like when we put it together. This time I would really, really like you to get your blue. Okay. So you can see the blue there. Rub-a-dub-dub. -dub. Lots of blue. Blue, blue, blue. Rub, rub, rub. And this time I'm going to do blue. Like that. Let's come a little bit closer with this camera. There we go. Blue. I'm going to play with this brush. Look what this brush does. It can go skinny when I hold it up. And it can go larger when I put it down, almost like a feather. If I want darker blue, I have to rub-a-dub-dub -dub a little bit more here. And I have to dab it at the bottom just to get it a little darker mix 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 a bit more darker blue at the bottom there yay yay now the next color that i want you to experiment with and have a play with is green 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 there it is green where is it there green put some green in here up oh, I want it stronger than that now as you know there are many types of greens not just one there's light green there's a green that's like a um almost a yellowy green which you often see on leaves Yellowy green, I really like yellowy green. I like it a lot. And there we go, blue and green. What other colour might you want to add to that when you have an experiment? It's up to you. Over the top, I've decided that what I might do with this crazy brush because it's a very, very thick brush, look at that, is I might get some of that lovely light, light yellow there, very light yellow, because it's so bright. I'm going to really make a muddy puddle out of that. Nice muddy puddle. A little bit more water. It's muddy, muddy, muddy puddle. And I'm going to add some dots again to this one. See what happens when it blends in with the water. See what happens. All right. I think after you've done that, that you're ready now to have a really, really good play. on your actual artwork well maybe not so much of a play but maybe now more of a considered i you know and having some ideas in your head about how you're going to make some artworks okay applying different colors in different ways good so we're back here. I'm sorry if this is not a great way of being able to see the artwork done. Um, next class I'll try and work out a better way of being able to show you colour and um, teach you and show you the demonstrations. But today this should be okay. Okay, everyone got their artwork. Great. Now we've known that we have a few different brushes we can use and how to control them. So we're going to take the little thin brush and we're going to pinch and grip and I'm going to colour in this leaf here, this green leaf. And I've looked at my leaf and I've noticed that it's quite dark green. So I'm going to mix my paints in, my green, and I'm going to fill in very gently 
green. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fill it in into one of the sections. Like that. In the other section, I'm going to choose a different green. I'm going to choose one of the light, 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 light greens. And I'm going to fill this one in. Light, light green. Now what you'll notice is the texture will run as well. That's why I wanted you to use a little bit of different colour textures in there. Light green. And just like I did on the other one, you can have a little bit of a play with adding a few little blobs of dark or light green to it. For your foundation, I want you to really just enjoy filling in your leaf now with different green paints if you have a leaf. If you have a rock, have a good close look, please, at the colours of that rock and all the detailed colours and fill them in. See how I'm just patting with my paintbrush? I'm not scrubbing. I've seen lots of you come to art class and when you get your paintbrush, you scrub, scrub, scrub. Like you're trying to clean the paper with it. And what I'm teaching you in art is gentle, calm hands and controlling the brush. So there we are. We're getting some really, really nice colour patterns in here happening. And see that tiny little tip up there? I'm just going to add a little bit of red in it. Just for a bit of difference. So that's one leaf. Oh, mate, a lot of you will probably say, Miss Amenta, that leaf looks like it's bleeding now. Probably true. So we might make it a little bit more orange. And bring it down here. Give it a little bit more orange to the core there. Go around the edge. Like that. Yeah. And if you like, you might want to add now some darker, darker, darker greens to your leaf in different areas because they've got lots of lines, haven't they? These leaves, lots of lines. There's one of the leaves. How about we have a look at filling in one that might be from autumn, like this one here. So what colours do you think this one might need? I think the colours, definitely, when I look at my leaf, there's pink. And there is like a pinky red. And there's definitely yellow, so I'm going to make a pinky red first and I'm going to fill this little bit here in pinky red and this one here in pinky red. So I'm feeling in some of the different shapes in pinky red that I can see. Not 
colouring in just the whole leaf in one colour. Okay, the important thing is to teach about looking at detail at some things, seeing all the different colours there, and different ways we can apply that colour. Okay, that was fun applying that colour because pink's one of my favourite colours in the world. Okay, now I'm going to use some yellow. Make a muddy puddle, thin brush. I'm going to put some yellow in here. All these other bits are going to have yellow. Just some of them I've decided. It's looking a little bit like a stripy football jumper. As you know, I go for the cats. Those of you who don't know now know that I go for the cats. Okay. You know what other colour I saw on it? Orange. So I'm going to get my muddy puddle. And now I'm going to fill these sections in here that I haven't done yet in orange. Bit of orange. Okay, now I'm going to have a bit of fun with some of the red because I did see red on it and I'm going to draw over the top of with my paintbrush or paint over the top some of these lines that I've lost. Whee. That's my paintbrush. making it really really bright and there was lots of dots on the leaf too because as leaves turn to compost decompose they do get lots of spots coming up when the where the leaf is trying to crumble so i like adding that onto my leaf where it looks like it might crumble. There we have a leaf. We have two. We have one from autumn and we have a nice big hydrangea leaf. So now it's your turn to get working on your art piece. And if I can just hold that up there so you can see, we have used a variety of different colours. We looked at the leaves, we saw what colours were needed in there. Okay, and we looked at filling in each of those different sections there. Yeah, rather than just colouring that whole leaf in that one colour green. So it's teaching you to use variety and teaching you to fill in the different shapes there yeah okay now around the outside here where it's white you can choose a color or you can leave it white or you can even do it blue which would look lovely too okay thank you guys enjoy art tasks today okay bye <laughs>